everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns, LLC. And in today's video, we're gonna show you and talk about our current rabbitry setup. This is a different setup than what we had before. We had moved, switched locations, switched properties, and the property that we are at, obviously, is, it is different to work with. There's different options to consider. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to explain the pros and the cons of when you build a rabbitry for Angora rabbits like this. Make sure you hit the subscribe, press the bell, that way you always get notified when all of our videos come up. So what we have right now are we have all of our rabbits in wire pens. There's two different size wire pens right now. The rabbitry is quite full with bunnies right now. And this is typically about the most that I would want in a rabbitry for for my rabbits. And when building this rabbitry, we'll take a step back. It's raining outside, but we'll show you there's a lot going on right here. This is a garage. We have a lean-to and inside, covered up, you have the bunnies. Originally, what we thought we were gonna do is build the rabbitry Kind of like we did the other rabbitry off of the side here and suspend the cages. What happened is we stopped and took some time and figured out that this area, because we're so high up on a hill, where we are located, the amount of wind that we receive and the amount of predators that we actually have in this area. This area, even though it has this, it's surrounded by this six foot chain link fence, even though we have one solid side here, even though we would put a roof up, this would still not be sufficient for protecting our rabbits from the predators and the elements. And so this is obviously wide open. Um, we have eagles, we have hawks, we have so many different predators in the air as well as predators on the ground that this is not, uh, this was not going to be functional for all four seasons of the year. And when you build a rabbitry, the ideal is to be able to have your rabbits in one spot for all four seasons. We have four seasons. So all 12 months out of the year. Now here's the other side. We have bushes, two different types of bushes here on the other side of this lean-to. So this is visible from this part is visible from our house so when we went to the other side of the rabbitry that we could have potentially built it on we were thinking of building it on we would have struggled with actually seeing the rabbits and what we would have had to do is install a complex a more complex camera system for viewing the rabbits and monitoring the rabbits and we wouldn't be able to just check going and looking out a window and checking for our rabbits so this bush is actually on the west side of the of the lean-to of the building. Normally it's not this much much stuff everywhere, but it is under construction still. So we have the west side, this is the north side, this is the east side, and then way out here you have the south side. So this is going to get the most sun. Right now there's a tarp covering it. It came that way when we purchase the property. There's more work, obviously, that has to be done. This is in progress. But this tarp is uh, not going to be staying. This is not going to be a permanent thing. Uh, having a tarp isn't going to be effective for us. The amount of light that's in here is a concern. This is not, uh, because of the tarp, this is not a lot of light. Um, there is pretty good ventilation just simply because of how open this is, just simply because we're on a hill. There's always a lot of wind. So the ventilation is good, the ventilation is great, but we needed protection. So we really needed this protection, this roof protected from uh, predators. We needed the sides being actual um, firm sides, not just being open for protection from the elements, protection from predators. And the Angoras themselves, they, they, all rabbits need light. And so one of the concerns I have with this, there's actually quite a few concerns, there's quite a few things to do, is this is not enough light. This is not enough viewing. I don't want my rabbits to look at this for a view. I don't like that. 
So one of the things we would eventually like to do is have a better view for the rabbits. And that can be done by cutting out a part of this and putting in clear instead. However, there's bushes behind there, so part of the bushes would have to be removed. Not too much because again, you have to consider how much sunlight is hitting. Now, the rabbits themselves, this is a different setup. Right here, this is wood. You can see this wood, I hate wood in the rabbitry. I can't stand it for rabbits because it collects everything. This collects the fur, this collects debris, this collects hay, this collects anything you can think of that you can collect, this wood is gonna collect. Even though this is treated lumber, this is still, you know, this is still gonna get wet. Urine can still collect on this. And whenever you have a surface like this with rabbits that starts collecting things, you have to keep it clean and you have to pay attention to different um, critters all sorts of things on this wood can happen. If you let things build up, you can easily, if it's depending on what type of food it is, you can easily get bugs uh, getting built up on here. Even though this is treated lumber, what's on top of it can get bugs. And you can easily have flies, depending on what you have on top of here. You, and when you have flies, you end up with maggots. And when you end up with maggots, you risk fly strike for your rabbits, which is potentially deadly depending on what happens, especially angoras because they have all that wool covering them. So this is Arthur. Arthur's in a wire pen. And um, a lot of people say, oh my God, wire hurts your rabbit's feet. That's completely uh, true if you have a rabbit that you don't take care of, if you have a rabbit that spends its entire life in a pen, sure. If you have uh, the wrong type of wire, if you construct your cage with the wrong type of wire, if it's a thin wire, it's gonna hurt, it is not gonna be durable. If you never let your rabbit out of the pen, it is not gonna be healthy for your rabbit. If you have nothing for your rabbit to rest on, it's not gonna be happy. Something as simple as resting on hay, something as simple as resting on the box is incredibly helpful. And what a lot of people don't understand is with breeds like Angora, the wool itself has to be managed. And so simply keeping an Angora rabbit and thinking um, you can just put it in a pen and put it on a flat surface, do nothing with the surface, don't clean the surface because that's better than wire is false. So rabbits can, Angora rabbits can be kept on a flat surface. They can be kept in a house. They can be kept all sorts of places. However, for man the wool has to be managed and that helps keep them happy. And part of doing that is keeping a good environment for your rabbits. So constructing this, these have, you can see right here, these have little L clips that are, uh, the cage is just resting on these L clips. There's actually three L clips underneath and they're just screwed into this board. Nothing is on the ground. So all the waste, all the droppings come right through. What's on the ground right now, we have these rocks. This is just what came in here. This is not what I want. I want the rabbit waste and the rabbit droppings to go straight onto dirt. All of this still has to be removed and I want this to go straight down onto dirt. I don't want this to be concrete. I don't want this to be rocks. I don't want this to be sand. I want this to be dirt. And you're probably asking, well, why are you so specific about this? Because with dirt, when the droppings, the urine, the waste goes right down, it can immediately start being composted and you can get a nice worm bed going in here. The worms help break everything down and you end up with really good soil that you can then use in your garden. So right now on rocks, this is not what we want. This is something we want cleared out. I don't know if it'll get cleared out, the rocks, all these rocks, I don't know if it'll get cleared out before winter. However, uh, that's something we would, we would want to change. So if you remember on the last one, these were hung and these were suspended. If you go to the last video uh, discussing the, the 2019 rabbitry setup when we were in the progress of make, process of making that. This had a wooden bar on the, on the top that it, this cage was suspended. In this setup, we did not suspend it. Um, and that's just, you know, that's just again, a particular, a particular choice. 
So when you think of a setup like this, a setup that we had before cost thousands of dollars to build that rabbitry setup. And it costs even more to buy your rabbits, it costs even more for all the things your rabbits need, including your cages. This setup, if you remember in one of the last videos, there was shelving along the back here. What we simply did is we reused the wood shelving on our rabbit cages. So we did not have to purchase additional wood it, we just simply had to reuse what we had. And of course that's environmentally better because that means less trees have to be cut down. That's also financially better for a business because that is less that we have to do um, for spending money. So this is what the current, the current rabbits are going on right here. This is gonna be something that we, we dislike but we're just gonna have to monitor keeping this clean and everybody is due for water, everybody's due for hay, everybody's due for their morning chores, and they would like a little bit of food. And it's raining, but they're not getting wet, which is amazing. That's what we like to see. So thank you guys for watching. We hope that this video gave you a lot of information about our thought process on how we're raising our rabbits, what we're doing with our rabbits, why, why these rabbits are being kept like this and the advantages that this poses for us. Make sure to hit the subscribe, press the bell if you haven't already. And as always, you can check us out at razzledazzlerabbitry.com.